So let's get into the questions, enough of me talking. Um, what are the current tech trends uh, are most pre uh, prevalent with consumers today? I think I'd like to go around the whole panel and just, if you could just give me um, a top trend you see at the moment and how you see that impacting the industry. Ursula? Um, first of all, I would simply even say just using different devices, as I think everyone sees the statistics all the time, mobile is increasing so much, just to get this seamless that you start on one device and you can continue on another is a very simple but um, ever increasing trend, voice and simple personalization. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we're definitely seeing um, some interesting trends in mobile at the moment that are, are becoming non-specific to an app. It's just capabilities of a mobile, um, which is quite interesting stuff from our point of view. Nick? In the present, there's a there's a couple. I think there's an interesting thing around um, the the frictionless part around payments. I think payments mm. are becoming easier and easier to make between parties as opposed to contracts. Uh, and I, I, the um, uh, it, well, interconnectivity is uh, what's on the horizon is interesting with uh, 5G coming up in a few years' time. How we have even richer, more robust uh, interconnection, and so that. That what the connectivity will just improve. You know. Yeah, that's hope so. The future is all going to be about bandwidth, isn't it? Ultimately, um, Kevin, any trends that are exciting you at the moment? I, I don't know if it's a trend that's exciting me, but I think it's it's something that's very important, and that's obviously you know we're all industry people or writing about the industry and we we like to think we know everything which hopefully we all do but the point is is I think you always have to put your mind in the minds also of the consumers and how they see things as well and I think what some brands seem to forget is that one consumers don't care about the minutiae of various things whether it's social media whether it's a, a chat bot or whether it's an Alexa type device they just want to be able to communicate and they don't care about the channel and I think with them um, you know for fear of bringing up Millennials and things like that you know as because everyone always talks about Millennials but the point is is that they don't really care the form in which they communicate with a the brand they just want to be able to communicate with the brand so uh, for an airline perspective you know we're going to get into airline specific stuff but I think it's really important that they understand that there isn't just channel specific anymore. It is multi-channel, omni-channel, cross-channel, whatever you want to call it. So I think you just need to be careful. Airlines need to be careful that they don't lose sight of that. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. I, if we have quite a lot of statistics, um, and if anyone's ever interested, they can email us um, on. You know, when it comes to trying to contact people, because we do a lot of work in disruption and that kind of thing, it's quite it's sort of vitally important for our airlines to get hold of the maximum amount of people. And you, if you look at the spread when you try different channels, and you have to try, you often have to, you know, use four or five different channels to get hold of, you know, if you want to get hold of like 80, 90 percent of people. Particularly it, if you're in a compromised, if you're in a troublesome situation, yeah, exactly. you need to find the right yeah, path. If you're not at home, you might not have your data turned on. You might have your data turned on. You know, you can.